So let's actually continue on and go down this ladder right here and also there isn't really anything in this area, it's no hidden items or anything I don't think. So you don't have to worry about pressing A around there. There's not there's actually an item up here, I actually forgot about this. But if you want a revive, which actually can become pretty handy in this cave, you definitely would want to pick that up, because if your Pokemon dies, then you can just revive it for free, which is nice. It's not like a max revive or anything, but it doesn't really matter. We're gonna fight this rocket grunt right here. So he probably this rocket grunt I think only has a Zubat and a Rattata, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not that hard. Level 13 Zubat, but Robin should be able to take it out quite nicely. I think we only have one more peck actually. So maybe we'll have to start using Fury Attack. No, he still has 10. I saw one from that 11 and I didn't see the other one. It's kind of hard to see that bright, bright yellow on a computer screen, but yeah. We're not going to switch out here. Robin st could still take out this. Uh, oh no, he doesn't have a Zubat. He has a Sandshrew. Um, I don't know if we could actually take out the Sandshrew here. He's gonna know he's not gonna use Defense Curl, so maybe we can. I'm actually gonna switch out though, just because I don't want to lose my Robin just yet, and I actually don't want to waste that Revive, uh, because the Revive can actually come in handy later on in the game, and I don't have to spend that little bit of extra money to buy an extra Revive, maybe. So, he's gonna go for a Sand Attack here. I don't really mind. Uh, oh no! The Sand Attack actually helped him! Oh no, this is gonna be annoying. Sand attack, sand shrew. Please don't miss. Hey, Bob, that was your last vine whip. What are you doing? Okay. It looks like, actually, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and paralyze. I'm gonna go ahead and skip, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, I am back. Um, I actually also taught my Ivysaur uh, bolt speed. It's bolt seed, bolt speed, bullet seed during that, so. Um, the reason why I did that is because we did run out of Vine Whips, and also, um, it's not really that useful of a move on any other Pokemon, so I thought maybe we'd just use it now and worry about it. Or not have to worry about maybe saving it or something like that, we didn't really need to, but... Yeah, we're gonna fight this Rocket Grunt now, though, and we should, if Robin's not able to take on his Pokemon, we do have Bold Seed on our Ivysaur now, so we should be able to take out his, take out his Pokemon right here. Robin's gonna get sent out, and I'm gonna go for a peck right here. We should be able to take him out in two shots, which we are. We are gonna get tail whipped though, not gonna matter because this Rattata, unless he goes for a quick attack, which actually will kill us because of that defense drop. So it looks like Bulbasaur is actually, or Ivysaur here, is gonna be our last hope. Um, Light Bulb should be able to take him out with a uh, Bullet Seed, hopefully. Bullet Seed. It's not the greatest move in the world, but on a grass type in this game, it's still pretty useful. So I recommend if you want to, you could run it. Because it could hit up to five times, which can be pretty OP with stab. Uh, mostly if you run it on your starter, or maybe if you want to get a victory bell or something. So, he's going to go for an astonish here. It doesn't really matter. Bold Seed actually isn't going to be able to take him out. He does resist it by... I think it's times four because he is a poison type and also a flying type. So we are gonna hit five times though, which is quite nice. I love the bullet seed animation. I don't know, it just looks kind of cool to me. Uh, I might actually speed through this guy, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we actually took him out. I have to heal up my Pokemon now though. Um, I think I'm only gonna heal up my light bulb mostly, and then I'll probably paralyze him. So this paralyzed heal actually came in handy. It's nice that we actually picked it up. If you guys are having the same problem as me, you could definitely uh, heal up your Pokemon with that Paralyzed Heal. And we're going to fight this scientist right here, which actually is protecting two fossils that he found, and he doesn't want to share them with anyone. But we're going to take out this scientist here and actually... You know what? Actually, before we continue on on this battle, I'm thinking of actually reviving my Robin, just because... We are going to be dealing with a few poison types, and Bullet Seed isn't exactly going to cut it for these battles. So I'm going to waste this revive. No, not really waste it. It definitely is useful. And then from there, I'm going to switch into my my Robin, and we should be able to deal with these Grimers and stuff that this guy is going to be bringing down on us. So he's going to go for a pound. That's going to do a little, like a little bit of damage, six damage to be exact. I'm going to go for for a peck myself. Um, he's gonna go for a Harden. Now this Grimer right here, actually, once you start attacking it, 
the AI just starts using uh, Harden a lot, which can get a little bit annoying, and also Disable, so watch out for that as well. Uh, Disable can actually get pretty, pretty annoying. And we're going to miss a Fury attack, which actually kind of sucks. He's going to go for Poison Gas, it's going to miss. That's super good, and Disable only lasts for one turn. That's super good RNG right there. We're not going to be able to take him out, of course, because he did go for a Harden, and he actually wasted a turn right here. I'm happy the AI didn't go for a Poison Gas or something, because... Uh, we do have an antidote, but we didn't want to take unnecessary damage there. So he's going to bring out his Voltorb now, and I'm actually going to bring out my Light Bulb. Uh, like I said before, or I said this earlier, I don't really have any electric types that... Or not electric types, any Pokemon on my team that could deal with electric types. Ivysaur is going to be my best bet here, but... I still am not going to cut through this just because I'm confident that Ivysaur can actually take him out quite swiftly here with Bold Seed and the Fusion with also Leech Seed right here. We're going to get some health back which is nice. Uh, we might not have to use any more potions on our Ivysaur after this. It depends what other trainers we come up against. Or if he gets some crits like that, Bold Seed should be able to take him out in like maybe I would say four, 4 hits. But we're only going to hit 2 times. That's kind of unlucky, and we're also going to get some health back from Leaf Seed right here. Now the Scientist, um, I'm pretty sure only has a Grimer, Voltorb, and I think a Magnemite if I'm not mistaken. So it shouldn't be too hard to real, really actually take him out. Um, if you have uh, War Turtle or someone at this point, I really don't recommend bringing him up against his Voltorb, because Voltorb can actually take him out. Um, but yeah, he's going to actually have a coughing though. I actually didn't think that. I don't think this was a smart choice actually keeping our Ivysaur here. So I'm going to switch out. Mount Moon right here against the Scientist can actually be pretty challenging if you don't have much Pokemon that have that much health. And also don't do that much damage to his Pokemon. So I'm going to heal up right here so our Robin doesn't die with a potion. And this should bring us up to half health, or around, I'd say that's 75%. He's going to miss his attack, which is good. Uh, we do have three packs left, so we might be able to take him out. He's going to miss another poison gas. Nice. Poison gas, kind of annoying move in this game, just because... And he missed another one. This RNG, though, I will take it. I think Fury Attack would have been smarter there. No, he's just going for a tackle. Get a critical hit. I guess we kind of deserve that. We don't have any more packs that we could use. But doesn't really matter. Robin should go up a level here. Up to level 17, I'm pretty sure. Almost, actually. But our light bulb goes up to level 21. Not gonna learn Razor Leaf just yet. Um, once he learns Razor Leaf, it's gonna, I'm definitely gonna get rid of probably, I don't know, maybe Vine Whip, maybe even uh, Bold Seed, but yeah. Anyways, we get a choice between two fossils here. It doesn't matter which one you choose. It doesn't change the outcome, but you can get a Helix Fox Fossil and a Dome Fossil. I'm going to choose the Dome Fossil because it turns into Kabo Kabutops later on. And I prefer Kabutops over Almanite any day. I don't know, I've always liked the Dome Fossil more than the Helix Fossil. Even after the Helix Fossil meme that was on Twitch. But, if you come over here, you can get an Anadope. And this is also... One of the last ladders you actually go through. Okay, so finally we've made it out of the cave. We're on Route 4 now. I'm going to end off the episode here though, guys. We went through Mount Moon. In the next episode, we'll travel down Route 4 and make it into Cerulean City. And yeah, so if you guys did enjoy this episode, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And also tell me in the comment section down below what you liked and what you didn't like about this whole episode. Give me some criticism. Give me some hate. I'd really appreciate it because then I can improve my episodes and my commentary and everything else I do on my YouTube channel. So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with a comment. Yeah.